Welcome back to some more of my Blade Banner Lord. We'll be continuing from where I left off last time. And I'm going to see if I can find some uh, nobles to ask about the strange artifact I have from uh, the tutorial. Hopefully I can find some who can shed some light on what it might be and what this Naretza's folly is. And then we'll see where that leads us. Oh, nice. Seems there's a tournament going on. Let's see if I can win this helmet. Oh, of course I had to spawn as an archer. One of the skills I have no ability in. I don't think I even have a color web. Don't think I'm gonna get anywhere in this tournament. Oh, what a shot. on a chance there. Oh, my team is qualified. Probably because I survived until the very end. Okay. Gonna try and stick with my teammate here. Hi, right, dude. I think I kind of want these green ones to win. I qualified. Not sure how good he is. I think he's a companion though. Oh. Yep, not that tough. Time for the final round. This is gonna be a hard fight. Helmet's any good. Oh, yeah, it's definitely better than what I've got. Doesn't really fit the look of my faction, I guess, but it's better than no helmet. Just running through these streets is. It's so cool. Having all these like, people and market stalls everywhere. It's really beautiful looking. Oh, these guys, kind of like, oh, they're thugs. I was going to say I saw a guy with a sword there. Hmm. What do you want? I'm just having a look about. This is how it goes, friend. This is our turf. We answer to slow hand Sela. And she's like the queen here. So if you haven't got a good reason to be here, clear out. Look here, dude. I could kick your ass in like five seconds flat, so... Yeah. No. 
Oh shit. Die! No. Die! Oh. Help. Die! Help. Run people. There's madmen on the loose. Oh. Maybe I can lure them somewhere where uh, I can kick their ass. Or, or they can do that. <gasps> oh yes, you just stay there. Oh. You just stand nice and still there. While I free these people of your tyranny. Yes. Oh. Oh. No longer will you rule these streets, you scum. People. I. Oh. You've cleared some members of a gang off. Stop telling me about relation changes so I can see what happened. Of a territory that they claim. Do you want to stay here to make sure others don't try to take it back? Sure. I'm up for kicking more ass. See some rough looking men gather some distance away. He suspects they're waiting for reinforcements and building up their courage for a fight. You're waiting for them to come closer. Uh, I hope they don't bring too many. What have we here? I heard you thrashed some of my lads. So you're tougher than you look. But I'll have you know, that's just the first arrow in my quiver. Leave now and I'll let you live. Stay and I'll give you a fight you won't walk away from. I, I don't think you can back up that claim. Well, if they're going to come to me... We're gonna fight on the bridge. We're gonna fight on my terms. Men, prepare yourselves for battle. And when I give the word, you charge across this bridge and you kill every last one of those scum. Do you hear me? Charge! Get him! Oh, there she is. Get her! Someone kill their leader, cut off the head of the snake, and the rest of them will fall. Die. Yes. Oh my god. What is that? So, both the steel and the Damascene steel have a really, really bad price right now. So... I'm thinking if I go to Onria, where I can buy it for a really expensive price, maybe that means there's not very much. So if I sell it there, I'll get even more money than I'm getting here, which would be absolutely insane. Okay, so my theory about the prices was wrong, and by the time I rode to or near and back the price had went up by like 400 dollars so yeah i'm just gonna sell those things now and make some mad mad cash off of it because holy crap that is insane okay so i was just at a village right just hardwood for ten dollars, an iron ore for thirty-five, and as you can see here, I could sell these and make some insane money. Oh, I made like a thousand five hundred just by walking back and forth from a time. I need to like increase my weight though, because I was struggling to like carry all of that. So a stumper horse gives me 100 weight. 
So does a mule. But I bought myself some extra horses for uh, just making my units move faster while also carrying more. I can catch up the looters really easy. I'm like running them by like 0.5 speed in the open. So it's just becoming super easy to catch up and kill them. So I'm going to capitalize on this and just start wrecking looters everywhere. Okay, so I've worked this out right. I can buy this wood here for 17 and then sell it for 25. So what happens if I just... Hold on. Let me do this the easy way. Let's see. If I buy all of it for fifteen hundred, and then I go to uh, the town and try and sell all of that, how much money is that going to make me? Okay, so it's currently twenty-four, and price is slowly dropping, and I made four hundred dinars, roughly. I think that's pretty good. And the other one that was good was iron from this tide up here. So next I'm going to try that. Okay, so it's telling me I should be able to almost double my money. And if I buy all of it for two and a half thousand pretty much, I'm going to guess I should at least get 3,000, maybe 3.5. Oh my goodness, it's 72. That's even better than what it said it was going to be. 4,000. That's going to be a lot of profit. Looks like I've got some sea raiders and some uh, looters penned in. Oh, I find their hideout as well. Time to take out the Sea Raider encampment. They're never gonna know what hit them. Oh, what a shot. How about we settle this one on one? No. I don't fight duels with sea readers. I'm a tournament duelist, damn it. Well, I took out the sea reader camp. Time for some forest bandits. Nope. What do you want? Wolf hat. Shot. Or speared in the face, I mean. And they're all faster than me. This must spear. I don't fight duels with the brigands. Gotta make sure I win, dude, you know. And my guys need the experience, so. Well, while I've got some uh, peaceful time, I'm going to uh, do a bit of smithing and smelt down a ton of these resources that I've gathered up through my travels and probably sell an absolute ton of stuff to make even more money. Okay, so that'll have to do me for nine banner lord. I've done quite a lot, I think, having uh, discovered that getting extra horses in my inventory increases the speed of my party 
by quite a lot. So now my army is very, very fast. I can catch almost anything in no time at all. I've got an insane carry weight with camos and stumper horses. And everything is just looking up. I'm making some mad money by just buying things cheap in villages and bringing them to cities that need them the most and sometimes making double the money back and I'm starting smithing and I have a ton of resources in my inventory I don't know if I should use some to try and actually smith something or sell them for more money I'm tempted to just sell them and keep uh, breaking down the items I find and level my smithing that way. But we'll see. Hopefully next time I'll actually uh, do what I was meant to be doing this time and finding out more about that main quest mission. But there's plenty of time for that. But until next time, bye bye.